Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and MPD by somebody that has both. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, do all the socially things, and thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description below, pointing so you know where they are, just down there. So, I've been wanting to do a video on anxiety for a while, and it's never quite come out right. I've actually got a couple that you've never seen. And... I always kind of felt like on this sort of thing, it might be interesting to do it in a way where I make a video when I'm going through it. I've done that sort of thing before. I'm starting to feel differently about those things, I'll be honest. Um, I'm now starting to think that the best thing to do is do it afterwards. Like right now, no panic, no anxiety, no fear going on. And it lets me think about things a lot more rationally. Clearly, this is the more sensible thing to do. And also, when dealing with anxiety, it's not just one thing, is it? It's not just like anxiety. I don't think so anyway. These things come together. We have fear, anxiety, and panic. And they're all the same thing to different physical extremes, right? So... Everyone has fear about something. Fear is a very normal kind of thing, right? It'd be a bit crazy not to have fear at any point. There are definitely things that exist that are scary and that you should be afraid of. So that's good. To a certain extent, it's at least normal, natural, fine, as things should be. But anxiety that takes things a step further. Anxiety is the beginnings of a physical reaction to this fear. There's a tightness of breath. There's rocking. There's shaking. There's, mm, it's not good. <laughs> Apparently, the only way I could really describe anxiety with was by making a noise there. So, okay. But I think you know what I mean. But it's fear, right? We're afraid of something. I mean, that's that's what it is. I, I went through this on Friday. I had the anxiety attack come on where I was afraid of something. I had a meeting to go to that I didn't want to go to. I, I catastrophized about potential results of said meeting. And so as I was waiting for it to happen, I started to get this this extreme fear of what might happen, of what could go wrong, all of those things. And it's, it doesn't help. These are bad things. These are things we don't need because they don't serve us. They don't help us in any way. This is a beginning of a physical reaction to this fear that we've got. And this fear in this particular case was based on nothing. So my anxiety is also based on nothing. I'm just feeling it. And that sucks right? I, I'd like to have some rational control over my thoughts and feelings and, you know, at least be able to, if, if there's something I should be afraid of, something I should take into consideration, then fine. But do I need it to go to anxiety? And God forbid something go all the way to panic. Panic is a complete sort of, that's loss of all of control, isn't it? Maybe that's what we're actually talking about here. Control. Focus holding on to feeling how we want to feel and dealing with things how we want to deal with them instead of being carried away with this this fear, this anxiety, and then panic. And now I look into that, it starts to feel like, isn't that the same pattern with anger? Don't we start with things that we can get angry about? It's okay to be angry about stuff. There are things in the world that can, can and should make us angry so that we do something about them, so that we change things, so that we take action in some way. Anger can be good. It can be channeled positively, and we all feel that. But it can also start to grow into rage. And then that rage can move into an even further extreme loss of control. And this fear seems to work the same way. Yeah, we all have fear. Yeah, cool. 
But we don't need to go to panic. Panic is bad. Panic makes us not able to deal with things because we're not in control. And so with all of these things, the key to actually dealing with them is to identify and focus. I hate to say mindfulness again. But, you know, that's what I had to do on Friday. I had to focus on all these things that I thought could happen and decide whether or not they could really happen. And of the ones that could, what would I do to deal with them? Looking at things, dealing with them rationally and calmly helps me every time. Just organizing things, facing, forcing yourself to look at the thing that you're so afraid of. It's easier said than done. I, I'm not just saying, you know, get out there, face your fears. <laughs> that's, that's such a condescending thing to say, isn't it? Just, just deal with it, right? Just face your fear. I mean, right, let's be serious. Should we prioritize? Are these fears worth getting over, right? I mean, I, I'm afraid of some things that make day-to-day -day life difficult, right? Those things clearly need dealing with. I'm also afraid of sharks. Okay, that's, that's all right, isn't it? Can, can I live with a fear of sharks? That's that one's all right. So I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to concentrate on the fears that really affect me day to day. And there's, there's enough of those to be going on with and just facing them. I think maybe start with the small ones. There are some we can just face the mail we can't open that person we haven't replied to yet. Little things. Things it's easier to deal with, parcel off. Mail's actually quite a good one because mail comes one thing at a time, right? And it's in its own little sealed envelope. So you can open an envelope and you can deal with an envelope rather than dealing with the mail. And there's anxiety and panic there and there's a need to focus, a need to draw yourself back to reality, to deal with things. And I think it's, again, like with the anger, once you start to see positive effects of doing this, once you have a, a positive experience, just like once you've had that time where you didn't get angry and you got a positive result, that time you dealt with that envelope will help you deal with the next envelope. That meeting that you went to that didn't go terribly will help you deal with the next one and so on and so on. But that big step, that big bump up in the first place is getting to that first positive experience. And I'm afraid with certain things, as annoying as it is, maybe facing them is something we do have to do. Because isn't that the inevitable end? Isn't that the end goal, facing things? Like, if I can deal with problems that face me today, they're not going to be the, the only problems I have for the rest of my life. New problems are going to come and I'm going to have to deal with them. And they could be bigger and worse than anything I've faced already. That's, that's just life. That's just being alive. And I can't avoid things forever. The end goal is to face things, is to be able to open that mail or go to that meeting or do whatever. And so facing small things, but facing them is inevitable. You just have to. Damn. I hate these revelations. It's so much easier when you can just not face things. But is it really? Is it really? Because I have so much stress and panic and worry over what might be in those envelopes. I'm not exactly getting off here. Like if I open them, there might be something bad in there that I have to deal with, but then I can just deal with it and then it's dealt with. I don't have to fear what might be in there. 
and so I'm beginning to realize that, come on, this, this fear and panic that I'm living through day to day is far worse than the actual fear of the thing that I'm afraid of. Oh, this is all silly, really, isn't it? But that's how we work. So that's fear, anxiety, and panic. Did that make any sense? Was that worth anything? I've tried it so many times, and it's actually such a difficult one. And I think we all experience things very differently. So the best I can do really is talk about my own experience and that's the way it goes. Anyway, thank you for doing all those things I asked you to do at the beginning of the video, like hit the like and subscribe buttons and follow me on Patreon and all that. And I hope you're feeling good and take care and I'll see you later. Bye.